Today we are going to go over three biomechanical principles and how they relate to tennis. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when Andy Murray's racket hits the ball, not only is a force being applied to the ball, but an equal force is being applied to the racket as well. This is why, after the collision occurs, you will see Andy Murray's racket tilt backwards slightly as he follows through with his swing. The next principle we will look at is Magnus force. When a ball is hit without spin, air is moving past the ball at the same velocity all around the ball. But when the ball spins, the surface of the ball affects the movement of air around it due to surface drag. In this picture, the ball is hit towards the left with backspin. The top half of the ball has a surface spinning in the same direction as airflow, which will increase the air velocity on top. The bottom half is spinning against the air, which will decrease air velocity. The high velocity of air above the ball will result in a lower air pressure as air moves quickly past the ball. The low velocity of air below the ball will create higher air pressure under the ball, since air is moving slower. This pressure difference will exert a force on the ball in the direction of lower air pressure. This Magnus force is the reason why shots hit with backspin seem to flow a bit longer than they should before falling. The final concept is ground reaction forces and torque when a spinning ball bounces. When a ball hits the ground, the ground applies a force on the ball in two directions, vertically and horizontally. If the ball has no spin, the ball would bounce away at the same angle it fell at. But if the ball is spinning, for example, backwards, the ball will bounce more vertical. This is because the spin of the ball generates an angular force, also known as torque. Torque can be described as a force acting on an object that causes it to rotate. Mathematically, torque equals force times radius. When the ball strikes the ground, the direction of torque is in the horizontal direction. With Newton's third law, we know that the torque of ball on the ground will generate an equal and opposite force on the ball. This extra force exerted on the ball in the x direction results in a decreased velocity in the x direction, hence the more vertical bounce of the ball.